Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a ripple cut using the rain select tool in waveform. I'm on waveform 11 in this example. You hold down shift and option and you'll see that the cursor changes or the mouse arrow changes to an eye bar type of pointer, at which point we drag while holding down shift and option. That would be shift and alt on a PC. And then the keyboard shortcut command J does this type of ripple cut. You'll see it cut out the hole and then all of the following clips are moved in. So I'll undo that so you can see that again. So say I wanted to take out a breath in a podcast or a voiceover, I can use shift option, drag over that little section, and then command J will cut it out and then close up that gap. Now there is another keyboard shortcut command L that does something similar, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't move following clips in to fill that gap. So it will it will leave a little hole at the end. So normally I don't use that if I'm doing something like voiceover. Here is an example of using command L. So I'll do command L and you'll see that it does move it over but only within that one clip and it leaves a gap out here. Now if you want to change these keyboard shortcuts, I'll show you how to do that. If you want to make them something more convenient, go over to the settings tab, keyboard shortcuts page, and then type the word delete. And under clip, you'll see these two options, delete mark region of selected clip and move up selected, which does this ripple cut within one clip, but delete mark region of selected clips and move up all on track, command J is the one you really want to use for this purpose. So if you want to enhance this a little bit more, it might be nice if the selection itself was cleared after that piece of the clip was deleted. And I'm going to show you how to do that. First, I'm going to explain what I mean here. If I hold on shift option, drag my selection, and then I do command J to delete the hole, the gray area of the selection is still there. In other video software that I use, that selection collapses at the point that the hole is removed. So I want it to behave like that. To do that, I can create a pretty simple script just to do the piece to clear that selection. So I'm going to show you how I have done that. So go back to the settings tab, to the keyboard shortcuts page, and then we're going to create a new macro. So scroll down to the bottom and click show script editor if it's not already open and then do add new macro. I'm going to give this macro a name and it's going to be called delete selection and clear range, which is descriptive of what I want it to do. So the very first thing then is to right click in the script area, go to the standard shortcuts and then under clip we're going to pick up our keyboard shortcut that we used before, which is this one, command J delete marked region of selected clips and move up all on track. That puts in the code that does that. I'm going to right click again and go to basic actions, markers, and pick up set loop range from selected range. This will give me a little piece of code that I'm going to edit to make this do what I want. Now on the first one where it says loop in, if I right click this and then choose arguments, I want to change it from loop in to mark in. And on the one where it says loop out, I'll right click that one, choose arguments, and do mark out. Essentially, these two things set the range. So where it says all of this stuff here, traction, get position, we don't need any of that because we're going to just set it to null. And then on the next line, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to delete all of this stuff 
and set this to null, N-U-L-L, -L, caps. Now I want to do this using pretty typical keyboard shortcut for video editing software, which is command delete or control backslash on a PC if you want. So I'm going to type in command delete to set this key mapping and press OK. And then we'll go back into here and test this. I'll hold down shift option, drag, and now command delete. It cuts out my little piece, drops the range, and I'm happy with how that works. I can also do this over multiple clips. Of course, you've got to have the clips selected, which you can do by a marquee select, hold option. You get this little plus. Now I'll select a range across these clips using shift option, drag, and then shift delete. And that works quite well. So that's how you use Rain Select to do a ripple cut or ripple delete style edit, along with the nuance of how to use a little bit of scripting to get it to behave exactly the way you want. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video very soon.